Contestant, Bruno Mora, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Bruno Mora, the warrior way. The warrior way, Bruno Mora. I don't know anything about how to beat others. I only know how to beat myself. Bushido Grower. They're both to master honorable judges and friends. When we talk about martial arts, we think of characters like Earth Lee, Amy, Mr. Mijak. But the way of the warrior is more than spectacular gifts or words of wisdom. Let me tell you a story. Imagine a tournament university gym. The public is shouting and clapping to support many children wearing a white double. In one of the combat areas, two kids are preparing to fight. One is taller and wears a hello belt. The other, smaller, wears a white belt. The fight begins. The ladies attack each other, demonstrating their defensive and offensive techniques. The first, the second, and the third round pass. They do their best, but at the end of the fight, the big boy with the shadow bell could defeat his opponent. Who was this shadow bell champion? Haha! <laughs> I don't have any idea who he was. But the other guy, the little boy that lost that fight, Maybe you might guess. Yes, was me. Have you ever told why is life so unfair? Why do we fight a battle themselves already lost? After ten of the match, I could and hide my sadness after such a bad result. My grandmother came up to me and said. Are you sad because you didn't win a medal? I agreed, so she asked me, Did you get the best of your soul? I thought about it and said yes. Well, if you get the best of your soul, this battle was in for me. But comes as a victory as long as you learn from the experience. Then, I ran from disappointment to encouragement. It was true. Who would care about a simple medal when I just fought against Angrilla and didn't die? Since then, I grew up believing in not competing for medals, but to prove something to others. I tried to improve myself, and yesterday I bet myself. A few years later, the white belt. With a lot of training, but especially dedication and discipline, became a black belt. I disagree and martial artist kind of thing. When I got my diploma, my teacher, a gray headed man, told us From this moment on, you are black belts in Taekwondo. For that reason, I invite you to place this diploma of the most visible world. Of your house. What about selling problems and humility? Where are they? I wonder, but he added, it is not to show off to others, but to be recognized. But every time you feel weak in the life, remember the course to earn that black belt. If you need hunt is coding, remember your strengths and get back on again as you have learned all these years. I listened to my teacher, and since then, I have my black belt diploma in my wall. I stopped practicing Taekwondo for a time. One day, I returned to the martial art path. That little boy was already a shantinator. I came back to training, and I feel good. Flexibility and power returned to me. But then, for the first week, ouch! As I was doing a simple kick, I felt a sharp of pain. Maybe it was a bad stretch? Of course, my family was concerned and made me consult a doctor.
Don't worry, this injury in a few weeks, it will get better. He said that to call my mother, but turning to see me, he told me directly, I am afraid I'm missing the worst part. You develop Osco-Slater syndrome. That condition causes pain and inflammation in your joints. If you don't want to suffer another incident like this, it won't be better not to practice martial arts anymore. But I just started, I told, and I didn't agree with that diagnosis. Well, I thought I didn't want to. I knew the doctor was right. Since then, I have been practicing Taekwondo again. I went home sad with the bitter taste of defeat in my mouth. Well, I saw my blood ribbon and my recognition on the wall. And then I remembered the battle that I lost when I was a kid. The words of my family and my teacher to learn lessons from Taekwondo in my life. I can understand that nothing was lost yet. I still have something to fight for, not with punches or kicks, but with my words and my actions. I can still be fighting for my family and friends, looking for new challenges, new battles in life. And this way, I have to stay in the fight. Dear listener, do you want to be a great warrior? A great warrior is not the strongest in the arena. He's the one who doesn't shy away from the combat and gives everything. You, for whom or why are you fighting? Are you going to give up because the challenge is bigger than you? Or you will continue fighting until the end. Together, Let's be warriors and defeat!